Hey, what's going on? What's going on? It's your boy. You already know what it is. Um, I definitely was, like I said, I was kind of, I definitely wanted to come back on and make another video, uh, previously to the other one. This one's more focused on the ADOS, um, uh, Houston, uh, present at the DNC debate, um, like I think last week, um, you know, for the D, you know, for the DNC debate, they actually set up a watch party, um, they were outside of the facility at the time. But they advocate pretty well. They actually, um, you know, they actually had did a couple interviews with a couple media outlets um, that was present at the at the watch party or the uh, or at the DNC debate, um, and it was actually pretty enlightening. I mean, now definitely before I go on to touch in more about the the interview prospect. Um, of the D, of, of basically of the interview with the AUS Houston uh, branch, we definitely have a card that we made. Um, you can see it's the AUS card. Got all the information. Got the website. Um, you know, it has other things. Uh, other things uh, the, for uh, of an agenda. Give you the linens. Give you more of a, of a quick rundown of what. The ADOS and what it stands for and what's the meaning and the purpose. Um, also, well, to give you a close uh, caption of the what you know the racial wealth gap, you know, especially between the white family and the black media family. Um, as you know, the white media family. Here you go. Uh, pretty much, uh, you know, you know what it is. It, it's a it's it's no competition in um, of the wealth. That they have and what we really don't have. Um, you know, I feel like I said, I've been passing that around. I wasn't pre uh, present at the DNC uh, debate, but, you know, my group was, my sister was. Um, they got, you know, could did a couple of interviews. I think uh, um, one of the, the biggest media outlets that really gave them an interview was, and I know this is really by surprise, my, in my opinion, but. Um, you know, it's press more, more or less. It's still press, still media. Um, it's Breitbart. Now, as you know, Breitbart is, is a far right, or you know, far, far right, um, ultra conservative, neo conservative. Um, the principle is almost more aligned to a close to white supremacy. Uh, than just even be a moderate, but uh, but like I said, they actually came up and interviewed um, ADOS Houston. Uh, you know, my good man, sir, who's ad, uh, the administrator of the of the of the ADOS Houston, Michael, uh, my man Michael. He uh, and also I think my Mrs. Uh, Clover Cloverfield. Uh, was the interview, so they're pretty much already on the website because I think they already released a video of ADS Houston. They actually put that up in front and center, um, even though they the the wrong they use a, maybe a wrong uh, photo for the article. It still pretty much was talking. About, it still had ADS Houston on the on the article. So that's a that's a big deal because I know probably part do have a huge. Of circulation, a huge following. So that's that's kind of big. That's kind of big time news right there. Um, other media uh, would basically asking us uh, about it, um, asking questions too. It basically was like it was good media uh, up in front and up in center. So ADS Houston was definitely represented during that debate, and that definitely put us on a more of a uh, throughout the. You know, throughout the ADS uh, national uh, spotlight, now you know, get more recognized. So definitely a big shout out to them. Um, <clears throat> so definitely, um, like I said, can't wait. Really can't wait for the conference. It's gonna be big things. Um, I actually signed up for the ADS uh, Black Caucus. Uh, with the uh, oldest is uh and Dr. you know Dr. Uh, Sandy Darity is uh basically the co-founders of that. So many things really going on, you know. Like I said, there's uh many pushes, many advocacy. Um, 
just really just around the board, just advocacy. Um, like I said, I'm going to probably start myself, start just saving up a little bit more money, just just really uh, start investing within the ADS group and the, and the mainstay of it so we could just get some things more popping with the advocacy. So, um, yeah, just, just really want to just... Um, really want to talk about the the, the Breitbart, because I think Breitbart, of all the media um, you think will might would have came to us. Now, I'm not saying there wasn't other media. You had other media outlets. Some were uh, progressive media outlets and uh, liberal outlets that did come out and interview uh, the ADS Houston. So, But I think the most biggest one, the most surprising one, was Breitbart. And I think... Um, that's just very telling. They were the first one to uh, uh, to interview, and they actually put an article on it. I think the other um, the other media really was kind of like uh, giving lukewarm uh, coverage to the ADR's uh, black agenda. Um, I think a couple of them just said reparation and kind of just glossed over it. But Breitbart really paid attention to the ADS Houston. They actually made an entire cover, uh, main article, just about the ADS Houston. So that's just very, just very telling that, that the right is actually more focused on our movement than the left. And that's very telling. Um, but yeah, man, just uh, yeah, just really want to. Oh yeah, I definitely want to talk about the Nina Turner um, interview with uh, the, the Young Turk. Um, now that's I've been actually getting viral. I've actually watched the video myself, and she she was I think she's um, she's part of the the, the Democratic uh, Party. I mean she's uh she's obviously a, 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 a you know, a Sanders, uh, Bernie Sanders supporter. But, um, I mean, yes, she said some key things um, about Biden, but that's everybody know. But she also, she talked a lot of uh, main points in terms that the new black media use as well. But I think the the one that kind of lost me, and I think everybody else realized, was she talked about everything that, the, the, you know, with about the racial wealth gap and everything and so far, but she didn't mention about the reparation or the comp or the, the compensation of the oppression and the theft of wealth of black Americans. And um, she didn't really conclude her, her uh, statement in the interview. So I think that was a disappointment. But um, also to Sanders, I mean, um, you know, Sanders to me is a, you know, he's a deaf, you know, he's dead on arrival with me because he, he already voiced his opinion and what he feels about reparation or any compensation for black Americans. So that's already, to me, dead upon arrival. But, um, but yeah, I, mean, I definitely just wanted to just drop that video for the ADS Houston Um Definitely, you know, check us out. We've got a website on Facebook. Uh, we're definitely present on Twitter. Um, you know, some of us are definitely pre uh, present on Facebook, as I am, because I am a member of the ADS uh, ADOS Houston. So um, definitely check us out, and I'll see you guys real soon. All right, one.